Every school holiday we used to come down to Devon. We had a caravan down here and we had a little speedboat outside. We used to spend all our time down on the beach and going fishing, bringing back huge buckets of fish and giving them out around the campsite. Trying to learn to water ski. Getting dragged like a submarine, just being told, hold on, hold on. You've got to learn the hard way. <laughs> when I moved to Plymouth, my dad decided that I needed to do the annual maintenance and cleaning on his boat. I used to get asked by boat owners all the time, you know, what polishes I was using, how I was kind of making the boat shine. Decided that's what I wanted to do. So I got pretty good at polishing boats the way that everybody else polished boats, which is using abrasive polish. And what I was actually finding is that every year that I polished a boat, it was fading faster than the previous year. I've since found that that's the, that's the norm. People expect boats to just get gradually, gradually worse and worse and look older and older. And that really didn't sit well with me. I want something to get gradually better. The nature of the polishing system that I was using, the gel coat was gradually getting thinner and thinner each year. Yeah, the polish just scrapes away a layer. And it's a scary consequence. You're going to start to see fiberglass under the gel coat. Rick's obsession with keeping things pristine and intrigued with technology led us to hit upon a method of using nano polishing that could make a faded, old-looking boat look like new again without causing any damage to the surface. That point actually took about four or five years to actually reach. Four or five years of constantly trying different combinations of polish to come up with this perfect system. It's a completely different technique that's necessary. The nano polishes, because they're so fine, are able to just take away the rough, dry, faded part of the surface. The next challenge was to find a way of protecting that shine. Then the conventional way to protect a shine is using wax which basically just melts it really doesn't offer any kind of long-term protection for boats we began to experiment with super durable nano coatings testing hundreds of the best products from around the world and that led to the development of diamond coat which protects the restored shine of a boat surface for longer than any other protective coating that we've ever tested we spent 12 years refining our own unique treatments and processes and we now have a restoration system and a protective coating system that means you can have a boat that stays looking like new permanently. We've really taken what we do and we've applied it to every surface of the boat. So gel coat, teak, stainless steel and glass with the restore protect and maintain treatments that we use, it actually makes cleaning a boat much easier. The last time I cleaned my dad's boat was actually a couple of years ago. Um, I think because it's so easy to maintain now, he's happy to do it. Bought him a pressure washer for Christmas. <laughs> yeah, and he seems to actually quite enjoy using it.